tell us what you did, Richard. But I then... locked the keys on the bike. How did I do that? Hi, this is Chris, and today I'm going to do a quick review on my tank bag. This is a Nelson Rig Journey Sport motorcycle tank bag. I got the one with the straps because my tank on my BMW is plastic. However, this tank bag also comes with the option for the magnetic mounts. All right, let's get into it. The material this bag is made out of is called a rugged UV treated Trimax ballistic nylon. What exactly does that mean? That's what I thought. A little research basically means that it is high quality, very durable material that's not going to fade in the sun. Uh, it's a medium size tank bag. It has an expandable zipper. So if you want to go for a longer trip and the only thing you want to bring is this tank bag, that's perfect for stuffing extra shampoo or whatever that you want to take in it. Otherwise, you can compress it or you can zip it back up and it makes it smaller. I haven't had an issue either way when it's fully expanded or when it's not fully expanded. It doesn't get in my way with riding or anything. The tank bag comes on each side. It has a side pouch. And a review that I had read before I purchased this said that they were basically too shallow and kind of useless, but I haven't found that to be the option. So I've got in this side bag, side pouch, I have sunblock, I have hand lotion, I'm sure I've got something else, oh, and I have a little flashlight. So I think the, I think the side pouches work great. All right, the zippers on the bag are called reverse coil zippers, which are basically designed to help keep the dust out as you're traveling down the road. The other th great feature that I like is it has these large pull tabs so that you can even get into that if you're wearing gloves. Also on this side of the bank tank bag is a grommet for my phone charger, which then gets connected to my bike so I can be charging my phone or my laptop or my iPad or whatever going down the road. Nice feature. The other side of the tank bag is this bag comes hydro ready. It has a grommet for your water bladder to go through and a little clip. The water bladder is sold separately, but it's very reasonably priced. And I absolutely rec highly recommend that you get a water bladder. The top part of the bag is clear and it's supposed to be touch sensitive and how you access it. So you can put your phone or paper maps or an iPad or whatever you're traveling with. How you access it is you have to unzip it and fold it back and undo this velcro which over time will loosen up a little bit and then you slide your phone in here the only drawback that i feel i think would be a better design is be, to be able to get into this area from the outside maybe they do that so that it's a little bit your phone is a little bit more protected from the weather i don't know but that's my only that's one of my only drawbacks the other drawback is to use my phone, this is supposed to be uh, touch screen sensitive. So I struggle with having to press really hard on this. All right, let's get to the inside of the bag, which is what I call the meat and potatoes. The top part of the bag has what they call an office organizer. It's got a spot for pens, pencils, tire gauges, pressure gauge is whatever you guys want to use as you roll down the road. It also has this see-through pouch so you can put stuff in here and it's really nice because it's easy to locate because obviously you can see it. Now, the inside of the bag. I have this thing packed with the things that I use to roll down the road, and I just wanted to demonstrate how much you can really put in here. So if you just want to use this bag as, let's take a weekend trip, and we just want to take this bag with us and don't want to mess around with anything else, I think you really could do it with this bag. So I have my visor, my glass cleaner, my neck scarf, my unmentionables, some comfy pants, a t-shirt. The biggest item I have in here is my hoodie, which is huge. So if you want to forego the hoodie and walk in your motorcycle jacket, you can do that. And then you have a lot more room for shampoo or comb or brush. But I'm sure I could even, I didn't do it, but I'm sure I could stuff more in here because I'm not done. Wait, there's more. I have my field notes. I have just miscellaneous sewing kit, binders, earplugs, you know, those little things that you might need. I have aspirin and nose spray and Visine. Yes, I'm going to keep going because I have, ta-da, hand sanitizer. We all know what that's for. Can't go home without it. And I have my, whoops, and I have flip-flops. Still going. 
Last but not least, the water bladder. So you can see this thing really expanded, holds an awful lot, and I don't even have it like fully, fully expanded. So let's talk about the bag itself. When you want to disconnect it from your bike, whether it's magnetic mounted or it's mounted by the straps, you just disconnect it and it has this fantastic little holder here so you can just take it and walk away, go in your hotel room or your tent or whatever you want to do. If you're somewhere where you're walking around and you don't want to carry it like this, it also has the option of turning it into a backpack. So just throw it on your back and away you go. All in all, I really like my tank bag and I'm glad that I got it. Next up, Richard's going to do a quick install of how he attached the straps to my motorcycle. You really want to stay tuned to that because you're not going to believe what Richard did. Sorry. <laughs> In this video, I want to show you guys uh, what, how to install this uh, Nelson rig um, tank bag. I've got a tank bag here that's going to go on Chris's bike. So there's a few things that need to go. It's going to sit. First thing, you know, make sure you got your position, your position where you want it. So you have plenty of room for turning, you know, got handlebars are in the way, plus room in the in the front. Um, you know, it's on Chris's bike, so this BMW is kind of tall, but there's a couple things you need to know. One, one is a strap that has this hole in it, okay? That hole is, is in it because we're going to connect it underneath the seat here, and we're going to rig it through like this make a loop so the um, it can hang on to that to that bar that's underneath here and then the second one is just a straight strap and we're going to get it around the front forks around the front forks and then to do that I have to take a couple of things off so first off We're gonna gain access to the battery here on the BMW. So, what we wanna do is we wanna bring this to where it will hold right here where these clips are going to be here so to do that we want to go around the front forks we go down through here and we're going to come back up on this other side i went around this support right here on the frame under around it and then around on this side and back up here so i have i have that going this way so it's not the big thing is, is you don't want it to wrap around anything that's on your front forks or going to impede the, the forks. Okay, so I want those two pieces out. So you can see it's it's on and it's not hitting the, the stops and it's not hindering anything. So this will be pretty much permanent in on Chris's bike. So we'll have these two straps that will always be there. So the bag can be easily unclipped on the front or the rear so she can get fuel. And whenever you're tightening screws, this is just a little hint Whenever you're tightening screws on any piece of equipment, they don't need to be tractor tight. They just need to be snug, secure. All right, now I'm going to get this one, get this strap underneath here. And to do that, you have to release the seat. Some seats, this seat has a heated seat, but I've already disconnected it. Or actually it's still connected here because this one's heated. And then we pull this up. And if you wanna come here, you'll see where we're going to route this loop. We wanna, basically what we wanna do is make it like this up here. So we're gonna use this through this side, through the loop, 
to secure it. So we're gonna be like that. So now that we have this tight, because we want to keep it tight, right? Put this back on. Put this seat back in. We can check adjustments here in a minute. They will clip onto here. Fix that. See how this kind of keeps it neat. Anyways, as you can see, it's going to keep it taut up there and snap it into place. And that's how that part of the bag will be in. Okay. Oh. Tell us what you did, Richard. Uh, well, I locked the keys in the car. <laughs> I locked the keys in the trunk. Why would you put that? I locked the keys on the bike. How did I do that? I, that's what I was just going to ask. Son how, of a biscuit. How are you going to get them out? <laughs> Maybe we should Google it. This is nothing. Now, running out of gas is a whole nother story. Yeah, well, I admit. I didn't break it. Ta-da!